Hello viewers, this is Dr. Alok Chajed with a new video on Already Late, your favorite channel for learning about finance, investments and economy in a simplified manner. Over the past few years, we have witnessed some major changes in the way we make our investments. You can now buy insurance directly from the insurance company, invest in mutual funds directly with an asset management company, and very soon you will be able to buy shares and debentures directly from the stock exchange. All this means one thing, you do not need any middleman to complete your transactions. No agents, no distributors, no brokers and no advisors as well. In this video, I bring out a few roles a financial advisor plays in your lives. I am hoping you will resonate with what I have to say. So let's begin by figuring out what exactly an advisor does. The most essential job of a financial advisor is to advise you on your investments. To be in a position to advise you, he or she has to understand your current situation, your lifestyle, your aspirations and your goals. So what a financial advisor does is understand your past, present and try to look at the future and accordingly plan your finances. This process has two parts. The first one is to understand you and your money needs. And the second part is to apply the knowledge of investments and personal finance to give you the best possible solution. Now the question is, can you not do both these parts yourself? Are you not the best person to know your future needs? Most of us tend to think so. But I have seen many individuals who have not really given a deep thought into their life goals and ambitions. After all, we are from the you only live once generation and we believe in taking things as and when they come. And there are many others who face this issue of not being able to identify these life goals and convert them into specific monetary terms. It always helps if you can get an external perspective to your life goals. And this is where an advisor comes in. The second part of your financial planning is to invest according to your needs. To achieve this, you need knowledge of various investment options available and choose the ones that suit your requirement. Accessing information in today's world is one of the easiest tasks. All it takes is a few seconds and you can search for the best mutual funds, the best life insurance, the best interest rates on, if, on fixed deposits, the best stocks and so on. Now again you're thinking, why do you need an advisor? The answer is extremely simple. You need an advisor because first of all, you will search only for something that you are aware of. If you have not heard of a particular investment, you will not even bother to search for it. And if you don't search for it, you will not come across that investment. And who knows, that might have been the best investment for you. The second reason is that most often we do not realize that information is not equal to knowledge. While the internet can give you information in the matter of few seconds or minutes, it will take a much longer period for you to gain that knowledge. You can still do it, but it will definitely take a longer period of time. It amuses me when I see a lot of people who will rely on a plumber if there is a water leakage. They will want to hire a carpenter to hang a photo on the wall and an electrician to check any power fluctuations. But when it comes to managing finance, they think they know it all. Perhaps it is because in all other cases, the damage done if things go wrong is visible immediately. But in case of mistakes in managing your money, the damage which it does is visible much later. And trust me, it's, it's the impact is much higher than a broken uh, tap or a short circuit in the house. The long term impact of this mismanagement, mistake in managed wealth could be catastrophic. Apart from these, there is another big role that advisor plays. This role is more critical than the previous two roles which I have discussed. Now, this role is to shape your behavior. The biggest factor in wealth creation is to master your emotions and to behave rationally. And now this is extremely easy to say, but one of the most difficult things to achieve in life. Let me take 
you know, just show, let me just show you a simple, a wonderful scene from this movie Munna by MBBS. Is heart ko dekho, rock steady. Hazaro operation kiye in heart ho ne, lekin ye heart kabhi nahi kape. Lekin agar mai meri beti ka operation karu to ye heart zarur kapenge. Kyun? Is liye ke mai meri beti se pyar karta hoon. This scene depicts one of the most important aspects of life. It is easy for you to advise others to behave in a rational way. But when you are in the same situation, you will end up behaving irrationally. If you are managing your money, you have to control your emotions of greed, fear, anxiety, everything by your own. But if you have an advisor, he or she will be there to help you get over these emotions. This will ensure your investing mistakes are minimal and you will not deviate from your path of wealth creation. Do you have a financial advisor who helps you get over these emotions? Please share this video with him or her with a thank you message for not letting you stray away. One more question remains to be looked at. If I have adequate knowledge and expertise, do I still need an advisor? Look at these pictures. What's the connection between these eight gentlemen? Well, all these are current coaches of the eight IPL teams. Tell me honestly, with most of these players being stalwarts themselves, is there a necessity of these coaches? What do you expect these coaches to do? They are there to be an overall guide, not necessarily work on your technical aspects, but provide you with specific inputs at times of a mistake. They are there to help players to get into form, to remain focused and to provide the much needed motivation. This is exactly what an advisor would do if he comes across knowledgeable investors. Everybody needs a coach. You can also have one. By now, you would have understood the importance of having an advisor to advise you on your finance. The big question now is, how do you select a good advisor? Now, if you want to know how to select a good advisor, type good advisor in the comment section and I will share a simple checklist for selecting a good advisor. Do like and share this video if you found the content useful. Do subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet. Thank you. Happy learning.